Nikola Tesla has easily become known as one of the greatest minds of the modern era. At the time his unique mind wasn't appreciated, it's only been in the years following his death that people respect what he was trying to achieve. Nikola Tesla wasn't one to shy away from electricity and being able to harness it, anti-gravity technology and something that became known as the ether. One of his most famous quotes was the following, I have worked out a dynamic theory of gravity in all details, and hope to give this to the world very soon. As with many of the great minds of the past, there's a lot of people today that don't understand the impact they had on modern day life. For example, electricity, radar, microwaves, the radio, drones and many other things all came from the great mind that was Nikola Tesla. He's the definition of a man that was born in the wrong era. Tesla began believing in an old alchemical mysticism known as the ether. He would talk about it for length and believe that he could tap into it and use its abilities to create a future in which magical devices could exist, and change the landscape and powers of humanity overall. This led to a popular quote that many people reference today in which Nikola Tesla states, When wireless is perfectly applied, the whole earth will be converted into a huge brain, which in fact it is, all things being particles of a real and rhythmic whole. We shall be able to communicate with one another instantly irrespective of distance. Not only this, but we shall see and hear one another as perfectly as though we're face to face despite intervening distances of thousands of miles, and the instrument through which we shall be able to do this will fit in a vest pocket. Recently, the FBI has released 64 pages of unreleased documents. This includes things like papers and documents that were collected shortly after Tesla passed away. For many years now, theories have been floating around as to why Tesla's work was collected by the government. Some have said that Tesla's work wasn't important and wouldn't have impacted us. If this was the case, why then did the United States government quickly swoop in and collect his work? These papers would cause many theorists to put forward their theories on what the papers contained. One of the main reasons people believe they collected his work is because he created an incredible machine, a type of ray that would be able to take down enemies from miles away. Tesla's work obviously caught the attention of the FBI, as they wanted to comb through what he'd been working on. One of their reasons for doing this was to ensure that any of his work didn't get into the wrong hands. For this reason, they decided it would be best if the documents remained in the property of the Office of Alien Property Custodian. This was, however, until the documents and other pieces of Tesla's work mysteriously disappeared after the war. Interestingly, enough discussion had been created that the public was aware of some of these inventions, and even caused citizens to question director J. Edgar Hoover about what Tesla had been working on. These are some of the extracts from the official FBI documents that got released. On the 26th and 27th of January 1943, an examination was made of the technical papers of Dr. Nikola Tesla, which after his decease had been stored in the Manhattan warehouse in New York City. This examination was made for the purpose of determining if any ideas of significant value in the present United States war effort could be found among his possessions. Participating in this examination were Mr. John C. Newington, New York Office of the Alien Property Custodian, Dr. Charles of the Washington Office of Scientific Research and Development, and John G. Trump of the Office of Scientific Research and Development of Massachusetts Institute of Technology. The following papers which were regarded as typical of Nikola Tesla's writings and thoughts in the period of 1925 to 1942, were removed for the purpose of record and listed below in random order in which they were found, together with a brief individual abstract. Exhibit A. Possibilities of Electrostatic Generators An updated article probably written about 1934 discussing the possibilities as a source of high voltage DC power of the Van de Graaff type of electrostatic belt generator. The article states correctly the electrostatic principle is employed in this device, and points out that suck generators are not suitable for commercial high powered applications, though of undoubted scientific value. Tesla's wireless tower erected in 1902 on Long Island, is stated in this memorandum to have charged to 30 million volts, Exhibit B, 
reactive force of glycerin and dynamite, an undated memorandum involving some calculation of the explosive power of certain compounds, and then deviating to a discussion of the possibility of transmitting power by mechanical vibrations along the Earth's crust. Exhibit C Process of Degasifying, Refining and Purifying Metals A 40-page memorandum probably written about 1930 dealing with the above subject, and proposing new theories of capillarity and surface tension. These correspondence indicated that this has been subjected to various industrial companies. Exhibit D Replying to Antorg regarding the generation of high voltage and acceleration of charged particles. This document dated the 8th of November 1935, answers questions raised by Soviet engineers and scientists regarding Tesla's proposal of Ray. From this answer it is deduced that the proposal concerned the generation of high voltage by electrostatic means. These means consisted of a high voltage terminal presumably supported by an insulating column, and charged by a gaseous charge conveying medium passing between ground and terminal. The ideas contained in these notes are fairly similar to the bolt conveyor electrostatic generator methods proposed by Van de Graaff, and do not appear to offer any unusual features. Exhibit E Art of Telegeodynamics, or Art of Producing Terrestrial Motions at Distance. This document, in the form of a letter dated 12 June 1940, to the Westinghouse Electric and Manufacturing Company, proposes a method for the transmission of large amounts of power over vast distances, by means of a mechanical vibration on the Earth's crust. The source of power is a mechanical or electromechanical device bolted to some rocky protuberance, and importing power at a resonance frequency of the Earth's crust. The proposed scheme appears to be completely visionary and unworkable. Westinghouse's reply indicates their polite rejection of the idea. There are some, however, that believe these documents are not telling us everything, and that there's a possibility some of Tesla's work and inventions are being held back. The most peculiar report that surrounds the inventor is that of his oscillating machine. It's been reported that this machine was able to cause many earthquakes within its vicinity. Interestingly, it was reported that the machine became increasingly more powerful as the machine is left on for a prolonged period of time. Though many claim that the reports are nothing more than exaggerated accounts, the original event was recorded by a reporter back in 1912. This was after interviewing Tesla of whom gave a detailed account of his first attempt of testing the machine in practical terms. According to the inventor himself, Tesla had bought a small version of his oscillating device, no longer than an alarm clock and attached the device to a steel framework. This was of a building that was still undergoing construction. After adjusting the oscillator, the building began to tremble and the structure quickly came down, with many believing that an earthquake had just occurred. The police had been caught shortly after as an investigation quickly began, causing Tesla to quickly retrieve his device and leave shortly after. Although many now believe the story was made up by Nikola Tesla for nothing more than additional media attention, Others disagree given the fact that theoretically if an oscillating device could match the resonance frequency of an object, it could begin to cause it to vibrate and tear apart, similar to that of a violin shattering a crystal glass. Today there are no surviving mechanisms of such a device, though researchers are now well aware of a phenomenon known as resonance frequency, in which any element can be broken down when subjected to certain frequencies and vibrations. Tesla is a true believer that everything is made out of matter. It all begins and ends with matter, and sound will never disappear once it's created. He firmly believed in laws of creation and applied it to all of his theories. Tesla said the following during an interview, I wanted to illuminate the whole earth. There is enough electricity to become a second sun. Light would appear around the equator as a ring around Saturn. Mankind is not ready for the great and good. In Colorado Springs, I soaked the earth by electricity. Also, we can water the other energies, such as positive and mental energy. They are in the music of great composers or in the verses of great poets. In the earth's interior, they are energy of joy, peace and love. Their expressions are a flower that grows from the earth. 
the food we get out of her and everything that makes man's homeland. I spent years looking for the way that this energy could influence people. The beauty in the scent of roses can be used as a medicine and the sun rays as a food. Life has an infinite number of forms, and the duty of scientists is to find them in every form of matter. Three things are essential in this. All that I do is a search for them. I know I will not find them, but I will not give up on them. So my question to you guys is what do you make of the FBI taking away Tessa's work? And do you think there's other inventions we haven't been told about? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.